I think that film, you know, is the telling of our stories. It's the most important kind of means of communication that exists now in our world. Every film, good or bad, is communicating its ideas to its audience. I mean, the camera is in itself an eye, and that eye can shift around so that you're looking at the world from many, many different points of view. When film's really brilliant, it transports you because it envelops you in a way that other art forms don't. We have to acknowledge the importance of what it is, and therefore we have to think very carefully about who is making those films. Filmmaking is a director's medium, okay? And, it, and one of the great uh, ideas of cinema, the auteur idea, is that the director controls the vision. The fact that I might be middle class, Jewish, female, not educated, is significant in the series of choices that I make as I go through the film. You wouldn't want all your information to come from one distorted perspective in life. We know that the statistics are roughly that about six or seven percent of all film directors are women. You definitely get a lot of women around, but they're always doing things like makeup and PA, and, and you, you get quite strong women producers, I think. But there's just maybe that sense that they shouldn't be the artistic one. They should be the ones that kind of um, help you be artistic. I come from a you know a, a large Italian Catholic family, and there were three sisters and two brothers. And the idea that somehow in my family the two boys could speak, but the three girls would have you know gags on would make for a very peculiar household. You want as many people as possible in any given society to have access to a medium like film. I don't think it's possible for any woman to not be affected by the way in which women are represented on screen. We live in visual culture. We're not getting at the moment a very rounded representation of women um, because they are being put in these categories as kind of bitch or mother or sex symbol. Women are not all like that and they don't all want to be like that. And why shouldn't they be seen as they are? Not even Julia Roberts wakes up looking like Julia Roberts. You know, I think we should see more grubby bras and laddered tights. You know, chocolate isn't better than sex. It's a different thing. What do women bring to filmmaking as different to men? They bring a female perspective. And in a way, that's enough. Tough guy movies by men. Nice melodramatic movies about tea time by women. That's what I hate. That's what I really hate, the idea that there is a, such a thing as a woman's picture. It's not about female directors being different. Every director's different. It sounds like a cartoon, doesn't it? Bird's eye view. Because, you know, it reminds me of fish fingers and peas and the sailors. Yes, it is true that the first century of cinema was to, in, in large part dominated by you know, male filmmakers. It's not going to be the case of the second century of cinema. Look, there's loads of talent. You know. Let's screen it, let's get it out there, let's pool it, let's bring it together. Why is it called? Birds, women. Like... Oh my God, is that why it's called Bird's Eye? View. View. It's like that phrase, isn't it? Once, if you want to eat an elephant, what do you do? You start with a trunk. And I just think if you want to, if you're really serious about making a film, just start with a trunk, have a go. It's not that hard, and eventually you'll have eaten the elephant and look fantastic. <laughs> this film is from a woman's point of view. A woman has written this, a woman has directed this, a woman is in it. Did everybody else get it? Yeah. Did they? <laughs> Did they? Yeah.